Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. It's been a while since I've done one of these and yes, all the hair is gone. It's no longer a mental thing. I got cut two days ago. Um, so I'm making this video. It's my review of June 2000. I can't talk now. June 2018 for achievements and game score. Um, not got the exact game score. I probably should have made a note of that before. It's currently 4th of July. I've already got a ton of achievements already. So I'm just not going to go do it. Um, anyway, for June, I got 174 achievements with 4,770 game score, which I'm quite proud of considering uh, by about the 20th, I only had about 2,200. So within like the last 10 days, I managed to get 2,500 more, which I was quite happy with. I um, started 10 games, uh, played 17 games during it, and I completed 3 games. Uh, so, the games that I've played, uh, Disneyland Adventures on the Xbox One, got all 49 tunes worth 1,000 game score. Oxen Free is 13 tunes worth 1,000 game score. Resident Evil 6 on the Xbox One, 35 tunes worth 585 game score. Uh, A Way Out, uh, 9 tunes worth 640 game score. Batman Arkham Asylum, the Return to Arkham version on the Xbox One, got 22 tunes worth 470 game score. Uh, Bullet Storm, I got 12 tunes worth 230 game score. Boggle, I got 4 achievements worth 200 game score. Dead Rising 2 off the record, 6 achievements worth 120 game score. Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 1, both 5 achievements worth 100 game score. Essentially, it's 50 achievements and they're all worth 20 game score in that, which is it's a nice thing. Well, they're all balanced, but it sort of does pan out. It's like you can get the 20 game score achievement for doing the simplest thing, and it's also 20 for doing like the hardest thing as well. So, it's, mm, yeah. Um. Nova 111, which is like a part of this giant indie collection I got, is one achievement worth 75 game score. Uh, Warriors 3 Orochi Ultimate, I've got no idea how to pronounce that or what it is. It's uh, 6 achievements worth 60 game score. Uh, Moto GP 17, 3 achievements worth 30 game score. F1 2017, 1 achievement worth 20 game score. And New Speed Payback, 1 achievement worth 10 game score. I've currently got a 29 day streak of achievements from the 5th of June to the 4th of July because today is the 4th. Um, so I'm on 29 days with 179 achievements which is a little lower than my best one. I think my best one altogether was like 23 and 200 and something, I'm not sure. But I'm alright with this considering all the achievements I've got already. Um, and obviously my best one's like 100 days with like, I think it was about 800 achievements. Um, highest achievements. We'll just go with a few of them. I'll go any that are triple digits. Uh, I'm a completionist on Super Lucky's Tail, which is the only one achievement I got during that month, which I forgot to mention. Uh, was for collecting 99,999 coins. Uh, literally have to do the same bit over and over. God knows how long. Uh, Ghost Stories and Oxen Free worth 200 game score. Found all the hidden anomalies. <laughs> it's one of those words where you try and say it five times. It's difficult. Um, the Strong Silent Type in Oxen Free. Worth 100 game score, you have to play the whole game without saying anything. Essentially, you have dialogue options, you're supposed to like stay friends and all this stuff. It works like a telltale game, but everything you say has an impact. Um, this house is clear, worth 200 game score, complete the story. Again, that's an option free, there's a lot in option free, just get used to that. Uh, Adler Letters, part 3, collect all of Maggie's letters, worth 100 game score. Um, that's an option free, they're basically half of the collectibles you get. Live the Dream, worth 100 game score. Houston, we've had a problem. It's in A Way Out. It's one of the secret achievements. Timeless Treasure, worth 100 game score. Also in A Way Out for you linked up to get past. Um, which, again, is one of those ones where unless you know what you're doing, you won't really know. Um, but yeah, they're basically my triple digit achievements. That's pretty much my progress for June. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I did have the benefit of having a week off work. So that's where I managed to get like, an extra 2,500 game score. Uh, this month might be a little lower, it's the 4th already and I've already got 510 game scores so I'm trying to make the most of it. I've been playing some 360 games, Some it's a weird thing, some of them do count on the leaderboard and some don't, I don't know how it works. Um, I guess if it's like a games with gold title then I guess it works, but I'm playing Hydro Thunder currently. I've got achievements in that and some reason it's not added to the leaderboard where things like Marlowe Briggs and Virtual Fighter 5 have. Like, I generally don't know how it works. Um, which is why I've like been off playing through, like not wanting to play 360 games for that reason. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just basically try and push as much as I can. I'm off for a week in Greece in like uh, a week and a half, 
So it may my game score may be a little lower than usual, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's my review for um, June two thousand eighteen. Uh, quite happy with that. Almost five thousand game score again. If I keep it up at this rate, I could hit fifty thousand, um, which I'm hoping to do. I think I've hit mostly um, like four thousand five hundred ish. So I'm just going to check all of twenty eighteen. So through six months, I have currently hit. 27,520, so I'm in a good position. I've done 947 achievements as well. So uh, let's hope we can get to 50,000. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I shall hopefully see you in the next one.